Hello everyone! Today we are going to crochet this really pretty star. To crochet this star you're going to need a worsted weight yarn. This is Red Heart with Love in Corn. And you're going to need a yarn needle, your crochet hook of course, and this is an H size hook, a 5.00 millimeter, a pair of scissors, a button if you like buttons, and some ribbon to hang your little star. To begin, we are going to do a magic ring, and you're going to take your yarn, like this, you're going to wrap it around your fingers and make an X. You're going to grab your crochet hook, and you're going to grab this part of the X, right like this, and then you're going to grab the working yarn and chain up one. Then we're going to chain up two more, one, two, and then we're going to place five puff stitches into this ring. And a puff stitch is like this. You're going to take your yarn, you're going to take your hook, and you're going to yarn over. You're going to insert your hook into the ring, grab your yarn, and pull up a loop. And you're going to make it nice and loose, okay? You're going to yarn over again, insert your hook into the ring, grab a loop, grab your yarn and pull up another loop. So it's like that. Then you're going to do that again, yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, pull up another loop. Let's see how many loops do we have. We have two, four, six, seven, and we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the loop, into the ring, pull up a loop, and now we have two, four, six, eight, nine. Now we're going to yarn over once more, and you're going to draw that through all of your loops, and then you're going to yarn over and slip stitch to secure your puff stitch. Okay? So we're going to do that again. So that's our first puff stitch. We're going to yarn over and insert our hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert our hook, and pull up another loop. Yarn over, insert our hook, and pull up a loop. So we have two, four, six, seven, and one more. Yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on our hook. And then yarn over and slip stitch it to secure the puff stitch. So there's our first two puff stitches. And we're going to continue that. You're just going to go straight into the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, and again, there's twice, three times, and four times. And then we're going to yarn over lastly and pull through all the loops, and then yarn over one more time and secure your puff stitch. So we have three. I'm going to let you complete the next two and then we can move on to the next part of our star. Okay, so I have completed my five puff stitches and now I'm going to secure the magic ring. To do that, I'm gonna take my hook out and this is how it's looking right now. And I'm gonna take this tail and I'm gonna put it to the back of my work like this. And then through the center, I'm going to grab the same tail I'm going to pull it up and put it to the back again. Now this front yarn right here, I'm going to pull on that. And you see it's cinching down my magic ring. So I'm going to pull that nice and taut without breaking the yarn. And then I'm going to take the tail again and I'm going to close it. So now it's not going to go anywhere. The next step, we are going to slip stitch to the top of our first puff stitch. So you're going to insert your hook, grab your working yarn, and pull through and through. Just like that. Next, we are going to chain up one, and we are going to half double crochet three into this very first stitch. So to half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab your yarn, and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. And we're going to do that three times. That's one, two, three. 
Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to half double crochet three more into that same stitch. So there's one, two, and three. Then we're going to go over to the next stitch. We're going to skip right over to that one. We're going to yarn over and place three half double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three. We're going to chain two and place three more half double crochet into that same stitch. And there's one, two, and three. Go ahead and do that with the next three puff stitches and I will see you for the next step. Okay, so this is what it looks like with round two complete. And I'm just going to slip stitch to my first half double crochet there to finish round two. And it's turning into a really cute little star, just like this. And if you'd like to stop now, you can stop now and put on your little button and loop. But to make your star a little bit bigger, we are going to do round three. Now, go ahead and we are going to slip stitch to get to the top of our star here because this is where the next, whoops, sorry, my hook's in the way. This is where all of the next stitches are going to go right into this space. So I'm um, just slip stitching up to there. Just slip stitch into the, the last, those other two half double crochet. And then I'm gonna slip stitch into the center of the chain two. Now I'm going to chain up one, and I'm going to half double crochet three into this space. So I'm gonna do just like previously. There's one, two, and three. And we are going to chain two, one, two, and we're gonna place three more half double crochet into that space. That same space. So there's one, two, and three. And now we are going to single crochet into, let's see if I can show you. I'm gonna pull apart the star a little bit. And you can see that little space in between the three. There's three half double crochet on this side and then there's three onto the other piece of the star. And we are going to single crochet right down into the middle. Stitch right there, okay? So single crocheting, you're gonna insert your hook and grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there's a single crochet. And now we're going to go straight into a half double crochet to go into this chain two space. So you're gonna yarn over and insert your hook into the chain two space. Grab your yarn and pull up your loop for your half double crochet. And there's our first half double crochet and we're gonna do two more. There's one and two. Chain two, one, two, and three more half double crochet into that same space. One, two, three. Now we're going to do another single crochet into that space between the half double crochet of round two. We're gonna single crochet and we're gonna half double crochet into the next space. Skip right over. There's two and three, chaining two, and three more half double crochet into the same space. I'm going to let you complete the other two spaces, and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so the last part of your star, you are going to single crochet into that last space. And then you're gonna go from the single crochet and slip stitch into our very first half double crochet to complete the star, just like that. Now we're gonna grab our scissors, snip the yarn. I'm gonna grab the tail and pull it through the loop to finish off that piece. And now I'm going to grab my yarn needle Sew in my tails and add my button. 
So here's the little star all finished. I think it's so cute. I actually decided to put the button at the top of the star instead of in between the points like this one. And I think it turned out really cute. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video, comment on it. I really enjoy hearing from everyone. Thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you all next time. Bye!